Hello everyone. Just tips in the building again. And your tip of the day is I did not have one plan. It's oh. like me, folks, you didn't have one. Oh man. Should I go with another animal fact? No. Or not fact, but tip, I mean. Well, it's whatever, man. You do whatever you want. It's your life. I am an animal. Uh, I am an animal guy. You feel me? Yes. All right. So. So. Whenever you find yourself in a situation between a panda bear and a moose. Yes. There you go. That's this is a scenario you're gonna get it right. A panda bear and a moose. Yes. I don't think they'll ever be in the same environment. But in the event that you do, remember, always go behind the panda bear. All right. No, that wasn't real. Uh, it was, that was an example. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a tip. That was... Um, if you ever find yourself in a situation with a gorilla, you want to... Make yourself not seem as threatening, so don't make eye contact. Well, with how do you it, do so that? Don't make eye contact with it. How do you do that? Don't make by eye contact. Looking, done by not looking at it in the eyes. I mean, do you not know how to make it not ain't make eye contact? Nope. Now that you, t- why don't you what? Hmm. <laughs> nope. I don't. That's not me. All you have to do no, is avert your me. pupils from looking at the other things. Pupils. Oh. Yeah. So I don't have to do the. the the boot it's with the boot okay yeah, yeah. i'll do the um boot that'll make your list seem less intimidating why would that be because they don't eye contact is a form of aggression to them wow learn something new every day huh as well as like showing your teeth learn something new every day yep see about that these tips day. could help you find yourself in those situations <laughs> okay. Uh, I already read that. You did, okay. Still, it'd be better if we found some idea who was the real, who the real killer was. Yeah, you. yeah, I get it. Yeah. Maybe it really is that security lady. Her is the killer. Oh wow. Could be. Could be. Oh, to Could be continued. Be. Oh, I could have just went a couple more lines. And then in, in, in the, in the last episode, oh well. Wow. Oh well. Hey, we're here now. Too late. We're going to save the progress. Let's save it right here. Saving backspace. On to part two of, or whatever. October 18th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Ooh. Very oh my god, we're in the courtroom and we're with the people and it's going to be bye bye. This escalated quickly. Oh. <clears throat> Got my boy Judge back in the building. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. I don't think we have enough evidence to prove that it wasn't him. To be honest. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, statement please. The, 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 prosec- the prosecution... Oh, I didn't forget what voice I gave him. It was I know. Like English kind of. Yeah, the prosecution. Or proper. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, defendant Mr. Will Powers killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. Mm. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Impossible. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Mm. 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 Hey, Taco Bell earlier mm. today. Mm. Very well. Nacho Grande Supreme. Mm. I would like to move on. And to now story. I have to poop. Testimony. Oh. Mr. Edworth. Oh. The prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Our boy, Detective Dick Gumshoe. 
detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I explained with the guide map here. Nah. I'll explain. To understand, to understand, to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the, this here is the employee area. We never went to the studio, too. The actors did a run through the actions during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. Okay. The security lady at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Okay. Past the security station, there's gate, see? Mm hmm Past all the studios. Mm. And here it is, Studio One. Mm. This is a scene of murder. Where the body was found. Mm -hmm. The body was found. Studio One. Mm -hmm. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three. One, two, three. Not four, not two. Three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. Mm -hmm. The defendant, Will Powers. Mm -hmm. And the young woman, the production assistant. Mm -hmm. All of the product... All of the production staff were in the employee area until noon, 12 p.m. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. One. Now jump ahead later that day, around 5 p.m. Yeah, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Let me tell you. This time of death was 2.30 p.m. Samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest. It's a murder weapon. Hmm. It's a murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Okay. Brief case. Anyone like to hear this again? Sure. Hmm. Should I just do the whole thing again? No, I got it. You got it? I mean... I mean, if you got it, I got it. All right, we got it. You got it. You got it. I'm sorry, detective. Can you describe that one more time? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known it would be your fine. Fine. Mentally challenged lawyer. Whoops. Hold on. Skip. 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 Security gate. Test studios. And you're here as a studio one murder scene. Uh, no, 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 victim. Uh, Why are you going to blame me? Because I want more information. I want you to describe it twice. Hey, pal, that's my accent. Mm. I don't care, that's pal. Some... You shove it up yours, pal. Yeah, hey, pal, pal you want to see me, pal? What's up, pal? Oh, okay, pal, meet me across the street, pal. All right, skip it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, can I, think I, I think I can probably remember that. So a murder weapon was a spear. It was um, a what? Medieval. Samurai spirit court record. Uh, Your Honor. Oh. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. Mm. And that question is mm -hmm. What is wrong with my face? Mm. And what did the security lady at the guard station see? That's two questions. <laughs> Understood. One was an intrusive thought, but I let it out. The other question was the real question. Mm. Let's call that. Let's call this security officer to the stand. All right, bye. Take the gumshoe. Hey, pal, let me go. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Oh. He was literally on loop there for one line. Would the witness declare her name? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. We. Why aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh, I'm she got the feels for Edward. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> Your name, please. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth, seems Edgeworth has a bit trouble, bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Edge, Wendy Oldback, dearie. Wendy Edgeworth. 
almost <laughs> called me. It just called me grandma when I was a young old bag without the ears. They were out of the children to make fun of me. Believe it. They were almost boy, Captain Julia. How you called me old bag? Well, I cried in the garden. Shut up. <laughs> uh, uh, objection. I object to the witness talkativeness. Objection for stand. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. Oh, I was getting to the good part, Derek. Mm. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Yes, yes, we could, actually. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say I was. Mm. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone have to be passed by you, eh? You know the stuff, you know your stuff, Derek. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Oh, yeah, she is. Witness testimony. <laughs> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Paul Orohema and the rest of had been doing a run through this, this since the morning. Okay. I, well... I had some errands to run that morning. Ah. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Mm. I was at the main gate. From there until 5. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m. Right? Yeah, it did. Interesting to me. Because a certain man walked by, right by me at 2 p.m. Okay. It was Powers! The man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. Hmm. Hmm, you saw the defendant then. Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Mr. Robert. Mr. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Oh, yeah, we're going to find some contradictions in this. I'm going to get you. First, we're going to press you. We're going to go nice and easy, all right? No pressing. So up until what time? That time, anyone could go into the studio. Well, there was a security guard at the gate. No, there wasn't a security guard. But the main gate was locked, baby. Mm -hmm. You need an employee key card to get in. Mm. Right. The key card that I have. Mm -hmm. So. What she's saying is, no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Mm. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Oh, hammer and wrists. I mean, doing a run through that morning. Okay. A run through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Okay. We got the basics figured out by noon, and we're used, and we're used to the afternoon, and what to use the afternoon for practice. Oh, sorry, dearie. Uh, rehearsal was supposed to start at five. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. Okay. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Wow. Talk about a laid-back hero. If there was a what, if there was a run through in the morning, why did you get? Why did you only get there after noon? Mm. You got some errands, huh? That sounds kind of sketchy to me. What kind of errands? Well, you know. I don't actually. Answer the question, man. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know. Observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? What a snap, I told you I like the gate and I, I gave my job. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I'm not sure why my boss would see it that your boss would see it that way. <laughs> Anyway, hey, watch out, baby. Yeah. Never missed one in all my years. Oh. Wow! 
alone. <laughs> I want to see a steel samurai run through too. It's too late. <laughs> you could quit being a spirit medium. Take a guard duty. Not a bad idea. Let's uh, press her on one more thing before we go. It goes right here. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He, he'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. You can tell us what happened next. Next on episode. the next episode oh. of Just the Tips. Yes, sir. Good session. Good session. I need to drop the mic on you, ladies. Because I don't like you that. Hey. All right. Peace out. You can keep, our, you can keep that. Yeah, you say you can keep that.